It's time to feel like a god of industry, hospitals and, well, everything else. Here are the 10 best management games you can play in 2018. Fancy taking on the role of a graveyard keeper? How about a hospital administrator who knows how to hire janitors with the ability to vacuum up the ghosts of patients? Yes, it's time to feel very important again and loom over the insignificant minions who need your guidance to create perfect mini-industries. We've already done a base list of the very best management games of all time, but given that there's so many out there, it seemed only fair to let the latest games get a look in too. Thus, before I hook you up to some kind of complex economy system, from dinosaurs to chickens and everything in between, here are the 10 best management games you can play on PC in 2018. Putting a stethoscope to your gaming heart and checking what still makes you tick, Two Point Hospital is everything you loved about Theme Hospital back in the day and so much more. From the developers of the original Sick'em Up, this is the spiritual successor to everything you previously loved about feeding patients into your hospital, cleaning up the vomit and fixing them up. From the visuals to the puns, Two Point Hospital is a true joy. From lightheadedness to the mock star or even chest infection, everything here needs cured, but there's far more than just smart jokes. Staff need promoted and kept happy, training facilities are on hand, and there's even the threat that at any time, a whole circus worth of clowns will arrive at your hospital and demand to be treated. Before you do anything though, you might need to fix the toilets. They're blocked again. Such is the glamorous life of a hospital boss. Just remember to wash your hands before you eat anything, eh? We hope you've enjoyed your stay, but please eventually leave. Let's get one thing straight. Fish are not just gateway pets when you actually want a hamster, cat or dog and just aren't allowed one. Fish are wonderful in their own right and in Meg Aquarium you get to see that in all its watery glory. From Tim Wicksteed, the developer behind Big Pharma, this aquarium management game is all about delivering the best possible scaly attraction. Given different scenarios, you gradually unlock new types of tanks, different heaters and filters and of course multiple types of fishy friends to fill them with. If you want to keep everyone happy, yes that's including the fish, you'll have to meet certain requirements. Eels for instance like caves while other fish have specific shoal desires and finding these alongside the lovely bouncy bright visuals is a recipe for gaming perfection. Sure it might get stressful as your fish unfortunately do what fish do and shuffle off the underwater mortal coil but building up unique tank types and unlocking new benefits for guests is absurdly compelling stuff. Tanks for the memories Meg Aquarium. It uh, crops up on many a list, but that doesn't mean that Eric Barone's masterpiece of a farming simulator doesn't deserve to be here. This is adorable crop and animal management in its purest form. Get up, grow fruit and vegetables, catch fish, craft machines, make friends, name your chickens, go to bed, and then get up the next day and do it all over again. There's something so simultaneously zen and slightly stressful about trying to make sure you do everything that your energy will allow in one day, but it's the end layers and further crafting that really feed this delightful gameplay loop. The dungeon crawling, the gradual unlock of animals as you gain more and more cash, shunning the corporate greed of the nefarious Joja Corporation. You did shun it, right? And now, even better, is the fact that you can do it all with friends. The multiplayer update was added this year and means up to three extra cabins on your farm so you can live in perfect farming harmony. Farmony, for short. Okay, so it might have text smaller than Amoeba on ants, but don't let that put you off the delights of Rise of Industry. It's currently in early access on Steam, but that doesn't mean you can't enjoy the price industrial action of the early 20th century. If other management games aren't quite giving you the depth you need when it comes to mass producing goods and sending them into towns and cities to make sweet, sweet cash, Rise of Industry will scratch that admittedly very specific itch. Everything is down to you here. Plonking down crops, building farms, setting their production to fruit, and even constructing the roads that will take the vital nutritious goods onto the next stage of production before the final apple pie or orange juice arrives on shop shelves. It can be initially overwhelming that you need to produce, well, everything, but Rise of Industry takes you through it all, and before long you've got a dangerously successful business in some very specific niche products. Marmalade, anyone? You are a cunning entrepreneur. In a complete blast from the mobile past, if you ever played Tiny Tower on your phone or tablet, Project High Rise will feel right at blocky home. Sure, things are a little more complex than the pixelated addiction fest, but the idea is the same. 
Build yourself a tower, fill it with offices, apartments and restaurants, move in companies and watch the money roll in so you can build higher and higher like the skyscraper mogul you truly are. Sure, your tenants might not always be happy. What do you mean you want customers? I've given you a water supply. But the systems behind bringing in residential services and even mapping out cable TV are ludicrously satisfying. The DLC even includes Miami malls, Tokyo towers and the most high rolling of them all, Las Vegas, where you are tasked with building the ultimate casino and hotel combo, complete with deluxe rooms, air conditioning and housekeeping requirements. And yes, whatever happens in Vegas clearly stays there. Until you want to brag to your friends about your casino with a roof garden. So, how are your morals? Do you keep doors open for people behind you? Give money to homeless people? How about feel okay about forging a meat authenticity stamp and then selling human flesh to a local tavern for pies? Well, the good news is that Graveyard Keeper is here to test the latter, if not the former. Somehow travelling from the modern world to a mystical realm known only as the Kingdom, you're tasked with being the local Graveyard Keeper and looking after the bodies dropped off for you by a very grumpy communist donkey. Imagine Stardew Valley with more bouncing skulls demanding beer, and you've nailed this like a freshly built coffin. Tidying up graves, crafting wood, chopping down trees, cooking, burning witches, it's all here in Graveyard Keeper, and while some of the systems are a little less handholdy than you'd like initially, before you know it you'll be organising graves, dropping bodies in rivers, and extracting meat like the best of them. Yeah, the best. It's been an early access on Steam since all the way back in 2013, yes, a whole half decade ago, but RimWorld has been quietly becoming one of the best management games you can play on PC. This blend of sci-fi space sim and colony builder might seem intimidating at first, especially if you haven't been on board since the beginning, but this is a compelling in-depth sim. It's now in beta 19, which is the biggest update since late November 2017, and there's now ways to generate power from moving water and all manner of new crafting abilities. On the surface, you're stranded on an alien planet trying to survive, but delve down and every system here matters. Factions, crafting, building, and, just like Dwarf Fortress, characters that you actually care about to boot. TLDR, you're going to be very busy for a long time. Cancel your plans. If running your own Jurassic Park is all you've ever dreamed of since 1993, well Jurassic World Evolution will be right up your disembodied arm and Barbasol aerosol can strewn street. From Frontier Developments, the studio responsible for Planet Coaster, this is the ultimate dino zoo sim. Just like Jurassic World, your park has actually managed to open, unlike poor John Hammond's, but keeping the attractions from eating the tourists is an ongoing concern, and it turns out that there's more to that than just putting a fence around extinct carnivores. Sure, you can plonk fast food restaurants next to your paddocks and make sure there's plenty of t-shirt shops, but don't meet your dinosaurs' toothy needs and they'll be headbutting out of their enclosures and chowing down on the guests. There's something ridiculously addictive about hunting down DNA, creating a dinosaur and then introducing them to the world. Oh, and yes, you'll find out exactly what happened to the goat. How do you make a farming management game gloriously happy? Well, you can start off by making everything smile at you. Slime Rancher sets the tone straight away by handing you a tool known as the backpack and telling you to head out and suck up creatures that grin at you joyously while squishing around generally being cute. Don't be fooled by its kawaii appearance though, the systems beneath Slime Rancher are a constantly compelling challenge. Every different type of slime requires a specific food and, well, living conditions, and when your slimes eat each other's uh, plorts, things go very, very wrong. Said plorts are also sold on the plort market to make you cash to buy even more different types of enclosures for the plethora of slimes scattered across the bright world. Add in the satisfaction every time you suck up a slime or enjoyably shake fruit, and Slime Rancher is almost dangerous levels of compelling. Spending time on the ranch becomes zen time as you implement relaxing music to keep the bouncing blobs happy and uh, feed all your chickens to the cats. Hey, the circle of life is nasty sometimes, okay? Here's the thing. Mars isn't hospitable. It's not the kind of place that welcomes you with open arms and a warm bowl of soup. It wants to starve you of oxygen and probably do to you what happened to Arnie's poor eyeballs in Total Recall. Surviving Mars then is a challenge from the get-go. Popping colonies on the red planet then is a significant problem. Even once you've put down these lovely Stephen King-style domes, keeping those alive inside is a serious task. 
Sure, you can keep the domes from cracking, but that doesn't help the famine and death inside. There's still something satisfying though about managing to fulfil all of your colonists' needs and keep Mars dust off all of your power-producing solar panels. Just don't think about those eyeballs. I said don't. <coughs> And that's the 10 best management games to get your godly eyes on in 2018. Let us know if we've missed your favourite way to be the boss in the comments below, drop us a like if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more videos and features just like this one.